Hello all, and welcome back to another episode of Lair of Lore Plays Fallout 4. So, I forgot that Far Harbor is a Valentine Detective Agency thing, so I can't start it yet. So before the stream can start, I'm running through and doing the quests to get to that point as quickly as possible. To make that a little bit easier on ourselves, I need to run over here and find Mama Murphy. Wherever the heck she's hiding. Um. Dang it, where is she? Usually she just appears and talks to me when I'm trying to hide from her. So I don't really know how to find her most of the time. Seeing as we have not built her super comfy chair yet. Okay, come on, Mama Murphy, where are you? Mother Nature never ceases to amaze. Through all the post war devastation. There she is. So. You're tied to this place, kid. No energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go with four. used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, uh, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you read that on Fox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? Yeah, pretty so much. I can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Yep, this is here. What we need Already real quick. Some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now, I know Codsworth, I know. Behind to where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's gonna lead you to your boy. Oh, it's it's bright, so bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's, that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew, wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Crap, that is not what I expected her to say. Not a favor to ask. Kid. I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nice fit for these old bones. I'm trying. Me? I'm trying. Oh my god, workshop open. Oh, for really? There. There, you horrible monstrosity. Is it under chair or is it under special? I think it's under chair. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Maybe it's not under furniture. Shoot, God, it's somewhere dumb. Uh, miscellaneous? Okay. I don't know where her stupid chair is. Shoot. Did it not give me that quest? I think that might be the main problem. Yep, nope, it didn't actually give me the quest. Murphy, where the hell did you go? Crazy old woman. Hey. You don't mind making a chair for old Mama? Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. There we go. Oh, there's the stupid bloody chair. And it was worth 93 experience, so that's good. Hey. I need to sit down, kid. Oh, for f okay, fine. You sit down. Where's you? You hey. had something to talk to me about, didn't you? Yeah. Sure. What's on your mind? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction. Not knowing if you and your family were all right. Uh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. Um, 
Um, let's go with that Codsworth. one. I, I never knew. I can't imagine it was easy. Not a single worry, sir, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. And yes, while it was hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. <laughs> at first, it was the work. Busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually, the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, sir. Memories of you and the missus, young Shaw, of your love and kindness. I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the wife, that Sean, or perhaps Sean's children, would one day emerge. Aww. Sorry it took so long. I only wish we could have all gotten out as a family. As do I, sir. As do I. It is unfortunate. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. I may be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to see me as more. Um... Yeah, let's keep playing up those family Why ties. Why would you think otherwise? From Sean's birth until now, you've always been there. Mr. Stephen, you don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Ah, that was a nice touching speech from Codsworth. Take care of yourself, dear. Okay, hey, I... Come back later. Need to rest before the site can help you again. Damn it. Okay, that's not the chat I needed from her. Okay, well, I will meet you down at the Cambridge Police Department, and then we will basically book it straight for Diamond City. See you there. Okay, so we've made it down to Cambridge. <clears throat> and it looks like we should just be able to take this road straight through to Diamond City. We're probably not going to get to explore too many of these uh, stops and buildings and such on the way, but I'll try to at least get close enough to a few of them so that we can come back here and check them out. So, like... Oh. Oh, you just have a bunch of things. Just give me all that. Come on, let me discover whatever this stupid location is. There we go. Campus Diner. Yeah, so Cambridge, Cambridge Campus Diner. This is, what is it? Fraternal Post? I actually have no idea what the hell that is. There's probably an apartment building over there, but it's close enough to some of these others that I think we can get to it. Oh, oh god. Hello, hello, Spike. Sorry, just pause the recording there because I don't know what that was and I don't want bad things to happen. Okay, here's the... Ah, oh, crap. Is the bridge out? Oh, wow, that's horrifying. Looks like this had a kid in it. Why are these textures not loading? God bless it. This is so dumb. I can't figure out why this game is refusing to load and be pretty like I know it can be. When I just got Doom. I got Doom like a week later than everyone else because I wanted to wait and see if it was good or not. And it is. And I'm playing it. And it runs perfectly. I go down to maybe 59 frames a second when there's a weird lighting effect. And then stuff like that happens in Fallout 4 all the time where the frame rate just drops to 1. But we're going to keep running straight through Diamond City. No stopping, just keep running through. Yeah, especially when people start shooting at us. Bloody raiders. What the hell? Jesus, more of them? I think it's a problem we shouldn't face too much more once we're out of downtown and have loaded most of this area. But it's still just dumb that Doom, which looks gorgeous and beautiful and so pretty... I can load perfectly fine, never drops below 59 frames a second, 
but Fallout 4 just drops to one frame on occasion because it decides it wants to. Eh. I don't know. Just don't know. But, hey, at least we've already made it to Diamond City, so we can actually continue this story quest that I've been ignoring for so long. Sorry about that. Oh. Why is it just straight up open? It's not supposed to be just open. That's weird. Oh, because everything is loading wrong. Good. Good. Um, I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna quick save and quick load and be right back in just a second. Ugh, took an entire game restart, but there we go! Door's actually closed. Piper's actually here. We can continue the story. Yo. Excuse me. The great green jewel. Diamond City is a place where everyone knows everyone. And no one talks to anyone. I'm trying to talk to you. Get used to this town. For all its faults, everything comes here or leaves here. It's stuck. Jammed. What? R Good lord. I just want to get in. Is this because of whatever fight is going on over here? Uh, da -da -da -da. Yep. Okay. Oop, shoot. What the hell are y'all shooting at? Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. No, I want someone to let me in the door. What do you mean you can't there. open the gate? There. God damn it. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. Just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Can, can I press Open button? Up. Can I press button? There. There. Finally. You. You want into Diamond City. Yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> Isn't Quincy destroyed? You, you gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supplies? Jeez, all right. Let me make it personal, Piper. Come on, just let me through the gate. Oh Better my God! Before old Danny catches on to the bluff. What bluff? I was gonna go talk to him, see if he would actually like. Yeah, whatever. Okay, F5. Quick save. You are a prick. Piper, who let you back inside? I'm sorry, but Piper, I don't like. You're Sullivan, right? You're that traitor Piper was talking about. I'll have that critter scrapped tells me she pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Um, Ooh, let's go with that. Lying. Oh, of course you do. Now tell me the one about you. Why don't we have Darn it. You Worth a try. Because the, the mayor's threatening to throw free speech in the dumpster. What? Uh, Always sure. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to bring you into... Mm -hmm. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy... A fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Uh, yeah, whatever. Not the friendliest. Welcome. He's got you there, McDonough. 
Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Trying to find someone. Trying yeah. to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? I'd rather not tell you. Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And God, I need more charisma. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there's <laughs> yeah, there we go. One private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons I've had enough up? of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found the next story. Okay, I'll be completely honest, I don't particularly care for either of these characters. Uh, I can understand why people like Piper. I don't, because she reminds me of that, like, annoying journalist archetype of the truth is more important than how it affects people. And I feel like that's how her character is here. I get the feeling that if you befriend her and do more stuff with her, it gets better, but I don't know. And McDonough, let's face it, is just a disgusting, slimy politician who may or may not be a synth. We'll see as the game goes. I actually legitimately don't know. I've never actually finished the story of the game, so who knows? There we go. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Read all about it. Our hands are facing people. Is your neighbor really human? Read all about it. Well, go read that eventually. God, this is just reminding me of all these people I dislike in Diamond City. Does anyone fight back? This is what we're looking for. This is the stupid heart that we just wasted Jet getting out of uh, Mama Murphy. What the? How did I start Road to Freedom Trail by accident? Huh. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Um. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... has gone missing. Oh. Um. Yeah, Don't worry. where is he? I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Yeah, who the hell is Skinny Malone? Skinny Malone character. I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. <laughs> Yeah, what the hell is a good neighbor? From good neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. Okay, then. I'll yeah, I'll go find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. There's way more distinctive things about Nick Valentine, but okay. Part of this is also just because... Nick Valentine is aw- ooh, yes. Robco Fun. With, what is it? Zeta Invaders? I think that's basically Space Invaders. I'm I don't remember for sure. Um, yeah, Nick Valentine is actually one of my favorite characters possibly ever. 
Mysterious Stranger. So really quickly, there's a bunch of these case files around his around Nick's office, and we can actually pursue some of these cases. This one, not so much. This is basically he's hunting for uh, the Mysterious Stranger, who appears with the perk The Mysterious Stranger. Like, searching for him for a whole bunch of different murders, because that's the only time when he shows up. Uh, plus, he has a kid, actually, in New Vegas. So, hmm. come on, let me through. I thought there were more case files, but maybe they're not available until we get Nick out. Okay, well, let's go get Nick. Well, moreover, I'm going to go talk to Mama Murphy, see if the other thing that the site can give us is ready yet. And in that case, meet you out front of Diamond City to go meet Nick and hopefully not trigger one of the horrible things on the way. That would be bad. Just because there's a pond on the way that does some bad stuff if we get too close. Okay, let's see if Mama Murphy's got the site that we need today. Come on. You'll find what you're looking for. I know it. Mama Murphy. You need the site? It's telling me Mantax will give us the right hide for another insight into your destiny. Yeah, here you go. Uh, Sorry, Codsworth, I know you don't like it. I can feel the site opening up. Thankfully, you're Preston's not around. For a man. He can help help you but he ain't gonna be the man you expect he's someone deep and dark the vault we know by folks with <clears throat> nothing but cruel intentions okay an echo something in the past that can help you when you meet the fat man and the angry woman tell them to Remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. <coughs> Don't mind me, kid. <coughs> the chems are just acting up a bit. I'll be fine, eventually. We'll make her kick the habit eventually, before she dies. Don't worry. But now back to Diamond City. <laughs> Just jumping all over the place. I think we'll actually end here. We'll meet back up for Diamond City, start up the next episode, and then hopefully we'll get to the stream stuff after that. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Hey, y'all. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And maybe check out all of the other content we produce on our website and Patreon. If you really like we do what we do and want to support us at all, you could also check out the Patreon and for any amount of money get access to our derpy puppy feed like the video you see playing up in the corner you'll get access to well my dogs being spazzes because they cannot stop it at all they also are just adorable so for a little bit more you could even get access to all of the videos podcast blogs everything we produce so maybe consider checking that out This is the Mage Repeatable Cthune Boost. And then we've got Cloxy Amber Weaver, which is your Cthune, if your Cthune has 10 attack or more, gain 5 health. I think he'll be pretty good as well. Anyway, thank you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.